This video is made possible by our friends over at Acre Gold, because long gone are the days of having to drop thousands of dollars just to invest in gold. Now, now they make it easy. You sign up and for as little as 50 bucks a month, you start putting in payments, and when your payments reaches the value of a 2.5 gram bar, they start shipping them to you. So it's a pretty neat program. You can check out the link down below. We thank them for sponsoring this video. Now let's get on with it. All right guys, Dustin here, and today we have a handgun at the range that I've been wanting to make a video on a long time, just hadn't made it around to it, is the FK Bruno PSD. Now it's made specifically for the 7.5 cartridge, which is quite impressive in itself. And if you want this cartridge, you're going to have to get this pistol. So the original one of these was the FK Field Pistol, and it was like seven grand, okay? The PSD is the more affordable version for everyone else. Now it's got a polymer lower and this big honking upper. And what you see right here is uh, this massive dust cover. It, it, it reminds me of the uh, Silencer Co. Maxim, but no, it's not suppressed. It is just such a heavy cartridge that, well, not heavy cartridge. I think it's only like 90 grains or something. What are these? Yeah, 95 grain, so, but it's moving at 2,000 feet per second, which is really close to some rifle cartridges. I'm gonna pull out this takedown lever here. All right, and now with this one trick, I'm instantly demonetized from YouTube. Okay, that's stupid. But anyway, what I wanted to show you was this five ounce tungsten weight that's in the end. This joker is what's under that dust cover, and that's why it's so weird looking, but it's a proprietary like buffer weight but not really buffer weight because it's under the front here. Anyway, it's the weight that helps dampen the recoil because the 7.5 cartridge is so beastly. And then it just fits down into this area. And, and the funny thing is you have to like have the, the gun up in order for everything to drop in and lock in in the, in the next place. Anyway, as quick as you saw me change that around, we can change calibers because that's the really cool thing about this gun. Because this 7.5 ammo is awesome, it's great for hunting, be, amazing for self-defense and that's what it was made for is kind of um, for the military to have something that they can grab that's almost a rifle power but in a handgun size so they've got some impressive videos of dropping big bore and medium sized game with just a single shot from this stuff because the bullet special design you can go watch all the boring scientific stuff somewhere else we're just gonna shoot but because this is like over a dollar a round the neat thing is we swap out the barrels and now we have a 10 millimeter or a 40 Smith & Wesson and there's a 9 millimeter one in here as well. Put the hollow sun on it. This is the ACSS Vulcan reticle from Primary Arms. So it's kind of neat and uh, if you go to my website I'll have a link for it in the, in, the, in the partner post for this. Otherwise, I know what you're here for. Let's shut up and shoot. We have a Firebird target down there. We're at 25 yards. Let's see if we can hit it out the gate. That's cool. So, it's a beastly gun. I want to just keep shooting. Uh, we got, I don't think it's a full mag, but we got at least 10 in here. Let's see. It's, it's a hand cannon. It really is. But it handles recoil quite well because you can see, I mean, the follow up shots were great and it's pretty, plenty accurate. They want it to be a handgun that you can use out to 100, 150 yards and shoot with the right optic and setup. I'd feel fine taking a deer or hog with it out there. Okay, first, I'm going to get out of the way. The ergonomics. It's like gripping a two by four. It really is. It's sharp and it's blocky. It's not ergonomic around the hand area. It's like it digs in here and then it, it's a big cartridge. So they had to have somewhere to put it. Okay, it's like a, it's almost, it's, it's kind of like a 10 millimeter, but double stacked. And we'll get to that a little more in a second, but I don't like the ergonomics. It is a single action uh, hammer fired. So we can 1911 style, pull it back, drop the hammer, which is decent. It's not a match grade hammer. It's a it, it trigger. It's probably around five pounds. There's minimal creep. It's, you got a little take up there. 
I'm going real slow. Okay, and and then we have a break. Nothing to write home about, but it's not terrible at all. It's, it's pretty crisp. It's pretty crisp. I would like it a little lighter, but I'm a snob. Uh, but once it's down, there is no double action. You're not going to go back up there. You do can you can carry it cocked and locked, which is what I would do if I was hunting with it. You saw the takedown earlier. Uh, optics ready. Several different patterns you can mount here. But the neat special is the extra sights. It comes with the whole baggie of sights. I don't know how well we can capture it on camera. Even like a ghost ring and a little triangle and a very fine sights, uh, you know, as, as in small, so you can be precise with them. I like that. That would that was a good move. And there's not like they're gonna charge you extra later. They send it right out the gate. And then you have these little nubs right here to aid in cocking. Pick rail so you can put even more junk on here so you'd never be able to fit it in a holster. But this is when those uh, universal nylon holsters <laughs> start to work. All right, let's go to 10 millimeter and see how it looks there. I swapped to the 10 millimeter barrel, and here's something that threw me off the first time I was testing it: is when you are in, you're using the same magazine for the 7.5 and the 10 millimeter. So of course you can see the cartridge differences right there. Um, I, I think this is marked for 16, so I'm assuming it's 16, or you shove another one in. I think it's 16. But with the 10 millimeter, because it's not a bottleneck and it's made to be reliable with the 7.5, of course, because that's the cartridge is designed for, you can't really Really shove more than 10 10 millimeter rounds in it. It may have been 12. It's been a while since I re read the manual, but you are downloaded. The good thing about this, let me double check 10 millimeter, make sure I'm putting the right one in the right one. Um, the good thing about the 10 millimeter though is it gives you that option. If we wanted to shoot 7.5 and have that ready for hunting, you know, we have that, and then with a quick swap, we can do our training in 10 millimeter. So that's the purpose of this multi-caliber stuff. Let's see what we got. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go go for the, the target on the right. It hasn't been shot yet. I'm gonna aim at the head because I think 10 millimeters a little slower and lower. Well. By golly, at 25 yards, we're hitting the same spot. So I guess we're good. So running fine with 10, but let me change it up a little bit because I also told you it was good for 40, 40 millimeter. That would be impressive. No, 40 Smith & Wesson. So I have a handful of 40 and 10. We can just stuff it into the same mag. I'm just going to start stuffing. I'm not even looking. And I did this once before when I took it to the range. I was like, oh my gosh, that worked. So I really won't even know if we have different point of impacts because I'm not looking at what we're shooting. But will it run? Okay, so there's a 40 in there. <laughs> so it's stacked, 40 and 10. We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, that was a 40 because it was the baby recoil. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you can normally do that in a, any 10 millimeter, but you sure can in this one. And the only way I could tell the difference is baby recoil, big recoil. But if that's not enough for you, there's an extra mag that comes, well, it, it, there's a different version. So you have the 7.5, 10, and 40 version, and then you can get the 7.5 and 9 millimeter version. I'll pull that barrel out. So this is the nine millimeter mag. You know, it's got this funky little spacer because it had to bring it closer and, it, and it, it's red. So that's how I differentiate it from the 7.5. So we shot some B-roll for high speed earlier and oh my gosh, it was just so, nine millimeters so different than the 7.5. 7.5 is a hand cannon, nine millimeters just dainty. In fact, some of my lighter loads don't like to cycle it. We're gonna see what these do though. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just so wimpy now. <laughs> and it's actually sluggish. I can just kind of, I guess it's that recoil weight actually doing its job because every time the slide moves back, it's, it's pushing that four ounce weight and it just, it slows the whole thing down. Oh, I don't know why that didn't fire. Okay. I wouldn't say that's something bad on the gun because these are lighter hand loads. <laughs> so wimpy in 9mm. Honestly, I don't know why you would... 
I mean, for training reasons, absolutely, I get it. If you're gonna go hardcore seven five and you want to train, it, it kind of like you would dry fire train with the same handgun. It's like we have 22 trainers. That makes sense. It does. It makes sense for me. I prefer the 7.5 and the 10 millimeter one. I haven't messed up and said 5.7 at all, I don't think. So I, I'm doing pretty good today. All right, anyway, th that's that. But on the 7.5 cartridge, I told you it's expensive. Um, they have three different types of ammo. Like, you can go figure that out. I just go to the website. I have not seen any reloading data yet. So, you know, so it, it's kind of, it, it, it's, it's the only thing you're going to get is from the factory, the 7.5. But if you want a hand, ooh, I wonder how it would work for grizzlies and stuff. You know, guys are always talking about grizzly bear protection and, and, and all. I wonder how that would work. I bet, I know it'd work better in a 10 millimeter. So that's kind of neat. Okay, anyway, let's see what it does ballistically. I'm going to shoot this side by side, my short barrel 300 blackout with my preferred Barnes load. And we'll see what it does in the gel. Okay, ballistics gel test. We're about 20 yards away. This is the F5 all monolithic copper core. Uh, we're going to see what it does on ballistics gel. Sweet. I think I saw something come out the back. It was rather slow, but it came out. So this is the F5 all solid. It broke off like these are the tiny petals. We have one, two, three, four perfect petals that go out that way. Five, five petals that go out. You have a spiraling permanent cavity all through here. This is very pretty and impressive. And I guess we saw the bullet kind of bouncing out afterwards because we had complete penetration into the berm. That looks really cool. That's impressive. So this is the S95, same grain, 95 grains, um, but it's a Sierra bullet. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see. That F5 worked great though. All right, good shot, let's do it. We have some copper fragments in there. Uh, the F5 seemed a very more consistent permanent cavity spiral, where the S95 uh, just kind of looks more traditional one-sided cavities. But what did we... Oh, sweet! It didn't penetrate all the way. We've got a bullet about an inch, inch or two in there. Oh, it's further than I thought. I got it. Sweet! So it came out. That's kind of neat. They just went in about a inch or two more. I kind of like that. I mean, that's a little bit cheaper round. And while the F5 is cool, it's almost over penetrating, but it did have, okay, for grizzly bears, I'd use that F5. That's pretty impressive uh, damage there. That's neat. All right, so this is my 300 Blackout SBR with my preferred load. I stole from uh, Todd Huey over at Huey Outdoors. He's shot a lot of pigs, and he said the solid copper stuff works the best. So I just think it's going to be relatively about the same. We don't know till we try. All right. Aimed a little off to see, make sure we had offset. <laughs> It's almost the same. You have the same premium permanent cavitation as we did with the F5 bullet. The 300 blackout looks like almost identical, maybe a touch wider right here. However, the F5 bullet does a little more early damage. And then this is a solid copper round with about a perfect result because it goes about five, six inches into it and we have our captured bullet. Whereas this one, I said, kind of over penetrated, but that's also crazy. So the 300 blackout is a little bit heavier, 110, 115 grain, I forgot which one. And it got stopped where the F5 bullet kept trucking through the whole dang block and my boys are actually going to find it in the berm. They really wanted to. But that is, I, I told you it's a hand cannon, like a handheld rifle. This really drives that home. That it is like a supersonic 300 blackout, at least in SBR. That's insane. I like it. All right. 
25 yard accuracy test before we move back. This is the S95 ammo. Ow! My ear pro need to seal better. Sweet. Let's go check it out. All right, so I, I, I kind of, I started to settle in and get a little better. So that's probably about a three inch group. Should have brought my ruler, but there you go. I guess I could do one click right. I'm gonna do one click right, and then we'll back up to 100 and see what we can do with that. We'll probably keep them all on target. All right, we're gonna give her one click to the right because of our group earlier. S95 ammo, let's give it a five shot group on 100 yards. It's not supposed to really drop, so. We're gonna test that. I'm gonna have an unconventional grip as I try to just be real steady. Oh man, I needed to go another click right. Oh yeah. Oh snap. Oh, that group's looking good. <laughs> we didn't set up a camera down range. We should have. You're going to like this. We got to go 100 yards down. We should have had a camera going just because some of y'all may not believe that this group, because it's just as good as my 25 yard. Oh my goodness. That was good. That was good. Uh, I brought a ruler this time though. So outside edge to, no, inside edge to inside edge. Four inches and four and one tenth inch, 4.1 inch group at 100 yards with the 7.5. Okay, yeah, you could definitely hunt with this thing. All right, so that's kind of cool, guys. You can check them out. If you want that powerful 7.5 FK round, it's like a 300 blackout in the palm of your hand. Uh, yeah, check him out. Thanks for watching today. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye! Did you see that? Come on, Nasi. Come on, Nasi. Yeah. I came in like a wrecking ball. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah.